So I thought I'd do a video on um, a tiller versus a wheel, pedestal wheel steering uh, for a small boat like, like my Contessa. Um, so to begin with, my, uh, my boat actually came with this pedestal wheel installed. Um, and although it was a factory option, uh, it was not original. Um, it was actually installed by uh, a previous owner. So when I first uh, bought the boat uh, three years ago, you know, my first reaction was, uh, who would put a, a wheel on such a small boat? I and mean, it's really not necessary. Uh, but my, um, my intentions were to put the tiller on, which uh, actually came with the boat, the original tiller. Uh, my wife decided that she likes the wheel, so uh, I compromised and said, okay, so for the first season that we have it on, in the water rather, uh, we'll try out the wheel. So, um, although I've, I've sailed with other boats that have wheels and tillers and owned both, um, I'm going to try to do an unbiased, um, an unbiased comparison here uh, for this particular situation. Okay, so sitting here in the cockpit, um, the very first thing is the obvious space that the wheel takes up. So, uh, although in, in other situations where you have a uh, keel-mounted rudder and the, and the post goes through the, the floor, um, the tiller actually takes up more space. But in this particular situation, tiller takes up much less space and um you know I, I would give that space is an advantage that the tiller has uh, in this particular situation next is steering feedback um, when you turn with the wheel you don't really get feedback because there's a lot of leverage that that you get with the wheel um, whereas with the tiller um, you can kind of feel almost everything um, and the, Actually, it doesn't you need to put a little strength into it because of the friction from the, the cable and pulleys here. So, um, feedback from the tiller, uh, I think, is an advantage over the, the wheel. Next is leverage, and I just mentioned this. Uh, you do have more leverage with the wheel, although that's probably mostly unnecessary with a, a small boat even though this does have a very large rudder. Um, there are some instances where a, a bit more leverage could be advantageous, so that's that's one plus that the, the wheel has. Okay, next is the uh, knowing, knowing where your rudder is. Uh, when you have a tiller in hand, it's pretty obvious where the center is. Whereas with the wheel, even though you have a, uh, have a Turk's head knot here, you know, sometimes this will be way down there and I, I, I won't feel it, so I'll have to actually look down. So that's an advantage for the tiller. Next is maintenance. The tiller requires uh, little to no maintenance. Um, while the wheel, uh, you know, there is a, a bit of maintenance involved. Uh, take off the compass, uh, you lube the internals for the the wheel, um, the rod that goes in there, also the chain, the cables, the pulleys which run along the bottom all need to be oiled as well. Uh, there's a tensioning of the of the uh, cable on the quadrant. That's also uh, something that needs to be done. So maintenance-wise, tiller has the advantage. Okay, so visibility uh, from from the steering area. So this is this is going to the this is an advantage that the wheel has, I believe, because you're standing way in the back of the cockpit, um, and you have a, a nice view, especially with having this high dodger. Um, my dinghy's mounted in front of the dodger, then my life raft that goes in front of the mast. So there's a bit of an obstructed view down here. So being able to stand here while you're steering is, is somewhat advantageous. Um, whereas with this tiller, I kind of need to stand probably where the pedestal is. Um, yeah, so, so standing there, uh, kind of, kind of brings up the other 
advantage that the wheel has, and that's being able to brace yourself on the pedestal guard here. Um, whereas that's a little difficult to do um, unless you're sitting with the with the tiller. But um, you know, being able to stand while you're bracing yourself here and holding on to the wheel, I believe is an advantage that the wheel has. Okay, so next is uh, space in the lazarettes. Um, and what I mean by that is that with the pedestal, you have these uh, pulleys and the cable that runs through there. So that kind of interferes with uh, your storage space uh, on both sides because the, there you have this one and then there's another one that those four bolts attach to. So that, that kind of... Uh, it gives you a little bit more of a limitation. You have to be very careful in what you put in there. Um, so that's an advantage for the tiller. Okay, so the next thing is the throttle and shifter. On the pedestal, it is right here. This is the throttle. This is the shifter for forward and reverse. And you can access this while standing. For the tiller, um, you can actually see where it mounts here you can see the where it was covered up and that's where I would be mounting it um, the advantage here is for the the wheel because it's particularly when you're doing some sort of docking maneuver you have uh, a lot more visibility being able to stand here uh, obviously seeing over the Dodger and um, you know if, if you have a tiller and you have the, the shifter down there you kind of have to bend down and you lose visibility for a second or two but uh, you know in a lot of situations particularly when you have to deal with currents you're having to shift uh, forward to reverse a few times so again that's an advantage the wheel has next is reliability and hands down that's going to be the tiller because like I said there's it's not complex it's basically just a stick whereas you have uh, several components that in in the um, in the pedestal that can go wrong um, the cable the chain uh, the clamps that hold the, the cable the cable can come off the clamps the key uh, or rather the um, the cable can come off the the pulleys uh, you know there's there's a, a whole lot of things that can go wrong so so as far as reliability hands down tiller okay next is the um, automatic steering Okay, so, so that basically comes down to, you know, wind, wind vane aside, which can obviously be mounted to either. Uh, we're talking about an auto tiller versus an autopilot. Um, this boat did have an autopilot at one time. You can even see the hole for it here. Um, and, the, and the wiring was actually present still. Um, but I did acquire a auto tiller that was given to me uh, for free. Thanks, Tracy. And... Um, I'm going to be going with that uh, and, and the reason I, I think that's an advantage for the tiller is that number one auto tillers are a much less expensive um, and can also be removed you know for uh, in case of theft you can easily just pop them off stored inside the boat so that's an advantage for the tiller okay so next is this little uh, mounting thing this is where I keep my phone um, I think this is an advantage that the that the wheel has is that I can get be very close to seeing the charts uh, with my eyes, uh, whereas with the tiller I could probably mount this somewhere on the Dodger, and also have the iPad that swings out. But the visibility is not nearly as good as having uh, my phone or even a even a tablet mounted here. So this is an advantage. Okay, access. So if I'm standing behind the wheel and I need to run up front in a hurry, obviously I need to go around. So I need to step up onto here and get around. So I mean, give me a second delay or whatever. Whereas if I'm standing here just holding the tiller, there's no delay at all. So uh, advantage for the tiller uh, to access uh, forward area. And lastly is the aesthetics of it all, right? And this is just personal choice. Um, the, with the pedestal, it's to me, it's cute and all, and I, I love having the compass there. That looks great. Uh, but then with the tiller, uh, that's something I can customize. Uh, 
which if you've seen any of my other videos I you know that I like to to do custom stuff with wood so um, you know someone who doesn't sell is going to look at this and say wow I like the I like the wheel much better uh, while those who do sell are gonna say tiller hands down so in my opinion um, you know I, I really don't have an opinion for aesthetics but Overall, um, probably going to be going with the tiller, uh, as I've been saying all along. And that's it. So let me know if you feel I've missed any points here, at least as it relates to this particular situation. Um, you know, I think I've tried to cover everything, but uh, if you've uh, felt I've missed anything, please let me know below in the comments. Thanks.